This year's annual diocesan appeal is the theme, Living the Eucharist. And this gives me an opportunity to talk about the appeal for sure, but also to talk about what it means to be a living Eucharist. Our mission as a diocese is to be a Eucharistic community, a people who live out our call to be disciples. It means certainly to love God above all things, to love our neighbor, but it also means to make disciples in our world. In this upcoming year of mercy, uh, it'll be our job to receive in the Eucharist God's merciful love that is poured out upon us. It is here in Eucharist that we meet Christ in scripture and in sacrament, in the breaking of the bread, just as the disciples did on the road to Emmaus as they talked with Jesus about the scriptures. And in the process, we are transformed. We're transformed by our encounter with Christ, who then sends us on mission to share God's peace, to proclaim the gospel, to glorify God by our very lives. We're sent forth to live daily the Eucharistic covenant. We're sent for the sake of our families, our neighbors, our parish, our community, and indeed, as Pope Francis has reminded us, for the whole of creation, the needs can be spiritual, they can be temporal. Some respond by teaching in our Catholic schools, being a catechist, helping local soup kitchens, participating in habitat buildings, even just giving a listening ear to someone, offering your experience and expertise in a given area for your parish. There's so many ways that each of us are called to live the Eucharist. Our diocese has 79 parishes, staffed by 54 priests, 38 deacons, and an array of parish staff. Our retired priests assist in parishes as needed, plus the countless number of you who minister to one another in your parishes every day. A diocese exists to assist in these efforts. I'm assisted on a daily basis by our capable diocesan staff of 35 people who assist me in my role as chief shepherd to sanctify, to teach, and to govern the diocese. They are the ones who give leadership and support to our ministries in the parishes. They serve as a resource to assist parish staff with catechists, sacramental preparation, stewardship education, formation in Catholic social teaching, parish and school payroll, bookkeeping, meeting educational requirements in our school, preparing men and women for lay ministry, and the list goes on and on. We work with couples preparing for marriage, support them as they live this vocation, and if needed, we walk with them through the annulment process. The diocese provides for deacon and seminary education and for the ongoing formation of our clergy. We also assist our retired priest as needed. I'm happy to share with you that we have 15 seminarians, 11 deacon candidates this fall. We have 5,000 students enrolled in our Catholic schools. Last year in our diocese, 14,000 individuals were baptized or received into the Catholic Church. 1,500 children made their first communion. 1,300 teens were confirmed and over 800 couples were united in matrimony. I'm grateful that the work of our diocesan staff as well as the generosity of so many parish ministers, many of whom are volunteers, and your past support of the annual Diocesan Appeal helped to make all of this possible. The annual Diocesan Appeal is one of the main sources of income and covers about three-fourths of our diocesan budget. Please prayerfully consider how you might be able to promote Living the Eucharist as you make your pledge to this appeal. Thank you for your continual support of your local parish, school, and our diocese. I ask that you pray for me as I pray every day for you.